and this, we're the one out here. Yeah. Yeah. And a very good afternoon to you all here. Sorry, we got it. We're a little awkward here. Welcome inside the Chats Community Center. Ryan Paul here, gonna bring in Colin Jacobson. He's gonna be doing play-by-play -play tonight for us on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Border battle number two of the year between these two clubs, Chaska and Jan Hassan. Colin, take it away. Well, as you saw earlier this year, Chaska came coming away with the victory. They scored many goals, and they never looked back. Chaska destroyed Chan in this first matchup, but Chan has been playing better recently as they just defeated the Blake Bears 4-3 in overtime. So they're rolling into this game with confidence. Chess is coming off the 9-3 win against Spring Lake Park with confidence. It should be a good matchup today. Well, that's right. And you mentioned Con or Chan Hassan playing a little better. They are 0-6 in the conference. It's a little bit of a surprising thing to see when a team does go winless in the conference at this point. What have what Chan's struggles been? What do they need to do to, do to get them back on track? So the problem with Chan is last year they graduated so many seniors, and then the seniors now didn't have a lot of playing experience last year on varsity, so they're stepping into bigger roles this year, and they're not as ready for it. Um, they're not really matched well with Chaska's speed. Um, they're a physical team. They try to 
Just play gritty, get pucks down in deep, hit put on bodies, but Chaska has a lot of speed that's going to help them to their advantage. Well, that's right, and we're just about ready to get underway here with the National Anthem and uh, the introductions, then we'll drop the puck here on the London Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. The Hawks of the Storm coming your way right after this short break. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for joining us. Lens and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business, proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We've got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So Inside Chaska Arena. We're just about ready to get in the ring with the National Anthem and the starting lineups between the Hawks and the Storm. Here's send it down to Greg Erickson, our PA announcer and our ice side reporter. Take it away with Greg Erickson. Through the night that 
was And with that, after my elementary school music teacher, Sam Sather, and Chan Hassan, hockey coach, Sam Sather, gets us underway with the national anthem, we're under, we're getting ready to drop the puck here in the first period between the Hawks and the Storm. Second time these two teams have met this year. And now we're going to swing it over to Colin Jacobson for the first time tonight. He's going to take over for play-by-play. -play. Here's Colin Jacobson. I'll take color for the rest of the afternoon. Here we go, Hawks and Storm. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We'll turn to the starting goaltenders for the visiting Storm. Sophomore number 33, Josh Wyant. The uh, sophomores played 18 games this year, posting a 352 goals against average and an 896 save percentage. And down to the other side of the rink, senior for Chaska, number 39, Benner Bansis. Uh, played seven games so far with a 163 goals against average and a 929 save percentage. Bach did play last time these two teams met. As we get ready to go here, great to have you with us today from the Chaska Community Center. We're ready to puck, drop some puck on this border battle. As both the centers will be kicked off out of the draw, we got some tensions brewing early. And here we go, traveling left to right across your TV, mobile device, or computer screen. Chan Hassan in their away blue and creams, and Chasco in their home purple and yellows. And the shot is gloved down by Urbansis to start off this first period. We've played 11 seconds here at the Chaska Community Center on this somewhat warm 10th of February. The puck squirts out. Here's Pitlick. That's turned back in by Davidson. Down in the corner, Kester throws behind his set. Bronson takes a whack at it. It's kept in by Wolf. And then he'll take the second effort to put it back behind the Chaska goal where Kester will pick it up. Kester, a cross-size pass just a bit too far for Benz as it's played into the corner by Groff. Pitlick in the middle, shot, save, Lyant. As that comes back out in the corner, Bronson will ship it back down below the Chanhassen net where it's played out. Kester intercepts that pass. Dipsine and Dooling behind the Chask, or excuse me, Chanhassen goal. He takes a dip. Bronson a drive, just goes by the side of the net. Pitlick there, up over his head. He can't find it. That's Wolf in the corner. Wolf has it now. He fires it over to Montang, and Montang will send it halfway down the ice. Bronson. Trasky trying to catch Chan changing, unable to do so. As that's Calls fighting for the puck, that goes back to Wolf. Wolf across to his partner. That's TJ Trusso, excuse me, no, that is Jacob Lang Heinrich. As that puck hits the referee, Lang Heinrich will chip it back down into the Chaska zone. Magson takes a hard hit and a shot. That's blocked by Barrett. Rubances turns that into the corner. There's Trusso now. And a drive off the mask of Urbansis. Out of play. Not a bad pace so far. Ryan, what do you think? Well, so far, Colin, the Hawks have Last time these two teams met, it got somewhat sloppy in the latter period. But so far, just a couple minutes in, pretty clean hockey game from both, from both clubs. I think you're right about that. There should be a good pace to this game today as both teams, they're playing for pride. Uh, um, Chaska and Chan Essen are combined when they're younger, so everybody pretty much knows each other out on the ice. There's nothing beat them beating your friends. Catcher, Fletcher is hit on the wall there. Now here is Wil Wilmer, Willier. And that's Chapman. Carter Chapman comes across the red line as he works wide. And his shot just goes past Urbansis and it'll ring around up to Groff. Groff will turn back with the puck. He stops, flips it up. There's Bimberg. As Gonzalez is able to send it to Kester. Here comes Warner. 
Warner sidesteps a hit by Groff. The puck squirts away from him. Wolf takes a hit now from Warner. Returns the favor. Ben's in there hot. He's able to extend the Chaska offensive zone play back into the zone. Starkey throws a huge hit. And back the other way, Chaska now. Drop to Warner. Warner loses a handle on it, but Pitlick's able to come clean that up. But Pitlick takes, loses an edge. And Chance back the other way with numbers. Here's Montang. Montang, a backhander, a soft backhander, turned aside by Urbansis. Behind the chest, go out in front. Save Urbansis as Kester swats that puck away. As that's flipped out to the middle, Chaska will go off for a change. Wolf. There's Montang. Montang up for Lo Lovig, and they'll go off and make a change. Bronson to Lavelle. Lavelle puts a hit with the puck on Highland. And Bronson comes the other way. Bronson now centering pass just too far for Lavelle. As Kulix takes the body from Chapman. Back behind his net, calls. Loses a handle on it. As it squirts out to Truso, who puts it behind. Calls, and Kester puts a hit on him. Calls gets it again, and Chan's offside. An undisciplined play there by Chan Hessen. Leads to an offside with 13.39 to go in this third period. Or, excuse me, sorry, first period. Well, you mentioned, Colin, that name Tommy Highland out there for Chan Hassan, number eight in white. He does not, or excuse me, number four in white. He does not go down easily, and Mike Kester just put a big hit on him. Highland, the senior, he gets chippy out there at times, and he'll be one of Chan's more physical players. So we'll see if Chaska can silence him on the most physical and aggressive part of the game. You're very right about that one. Highland likes to play the body. He's a good role player. He'll come out and be the bone bruiser. Here we go with Thomas who chips it and I think Chaska is going to take a too many men penalty as they get caught with an awkward change. Oh no, excuse me, that's going to be Chan. Interesting how they called that penalty. Uh, Chaska had the puck when they made the penalty call. So my guess was Chaska, but no. Chaska will go on the power play here. With 13.04 left in this first period. Chan is 80% even on the penalty kill this year, while Chaska is posting a 26.2% on their power play. Had a few power play tallies in the game against Spring Lake Park the other day. So that shot gloved down and under Bronson in front of the net. Score! As it's poked in, Chaska takes an early lead. Bronson is slow to get up. That's not a good sign for Chaska. Well, Bronson's slow to get up, but the, and they're going to call for Nicole Anderson, the athletic trainer. He was laying down in front of the net, in front of the whole scrum, while the puck was being flopped in. Bronson was just kind of laying there motionless. Looked kind of awkward. Some, people, some of us thought Bronson might have just been laying there to throw off the, uh, the scrum down there, but only eight seconds into the Chan penalty, the Hawks score and take a one nothing lead. Uh, Bronson has had knee issues in his past, so it could be something about that. Is he, he, he's in some pain being helped off the ice. That right leg is being pulled up. It could be something with that. We'll pay attention to that and let you know. Chaska can't seem to get away and escape these injuries. It seems right when they get back to full strength, somebody will get injured, then they'll get healthy, and then somebody will get injured. He really doesn't want to put any weight on that right leg. That's concerning. Yeah, that is very concerning for Bronson. They still step off side of the bench. We'll wait for that official goal call on the Chaska power play goal to put him up 1-0 here in this first period. I'm not sure who got that. If that hits a storm player, it'll be up, out of play. There you go. Pitlick from Kester and Barrett puts Chaska up early here as Graf turns away from a incoming Lavelle. That puck is sent too far for Lovig. Chaska has it now. Starkey, a long ice pass that's batted down by Bimberg. And then gone back the other way. 
where Vance is out to stop behind the net. Barrett to Kulix on the wall. Kulix behind his players. They'll have to curl back for it. Lavelle gives to Barrett. Barrett finds Olmshai coming through the middle. Kulix takes a hit. Throws that puck into the middle. Nobody home. Roth sends it up off the wall. Kester intercepts. He takes a handful of hacks. Calls now behind his own goal. Stops and Kester goes the other way. Calls the wheelier and back to calls. Calls looking for a man getting off the ice and Warner intercepts that and sends that back where Wine will now have to come out and play behind his goal. Graf spins around and sends it up the wall for Highland. Highland looking for Trusso in the middle, but they're, they could not connect. As it's sent erratically back into the chassis zone, Kester gives to Warner. Bends now with it. Benz drops for Warner. Warner walks, shoots. Ooh, that was a close opportunity there for Cheska as it goes wide. That was Blade Warner on that ripper at the Cheska, and he was he, he was sidelined for the majority of the first part of the season. Didn't get to play in that Chan game. I know he was really excited to be playing in this one tonight. Yeah, you're right about that, Ryan. Uh, he's just coming back from injury, and each game he's starting to look better and better. Uh, finding that shot back, getting those legs under him. Uh, he's coming off the hat trick game against Spring Lake Park the other day. 10.55 to go here in this first period. Chaska leads 1-0 over Chanhassen. Thomas in for the faceoff against Whitcraft, and he wins that one. Kester whiffs on a pass. Whitcraft with it now. Elects to send it down where he takes a hit from Fletcher. Whitcraft gets the puck back. A shot right into the, into the chest, and... Kester puts Whitcraft down. It's like Whitcraft ran into a brick wall there. Kester was there to lay the body. Better Bance is also with a nice snag on that play there. Decent crowd here tonight. I know not as full as we expected it to be. The CCC a little bigger than the Victoria Rec. Actually, quite bit, quite a bit bigger than the Victoria Rec Center that Chan has that Chan plays in. Back into the Chan zone now. Chapman's around behind his goal to collect it. So McDonald's able to make a turn over there as he takes a hit from Chapman. He still gets that from the ground and is able to try to attempt to get that to Magnuson on the wall. As it comes out, Chaska forechecking well here, but that ends up erratically coming away. Barrett takes a hack at it. And that's no good as Whitecraft sends it down to awaiting Thomas for Chaska. Butcher around and Wine will stop behind. Both teams will make some changes, and Wolf will come away with it as it's poked away by Olmscheid. Sent off the wall by Groff. That squirts out. And then it finds, ooh, a bad elbow there by Starkey. There's going to be no call as we do not have a name for 39, but they, uh, the refs missed an elbow there on Starkey. 39 is Braden Sanders. Kester comes away with it. Starkey, a drive. Blockered away by Wyant. Off the side of the goal, Lavelle walks out. Another save by Wyant, and he'll hold on. Brian Sanders, number 39, also played in the JV game earlier today, which Chaska won in a shootout. Mitchell Morris netted the game winner. I know, you, Colin, you were part of that game, and what a fun experience for the JV team, eh? Yeah, it was good to go out. Um, on top for the final time here at the community center, especially for Mitchell. I was happy for him, to, the player who was a goalie for a while and then turned into a skater to have that opportunity cool. and make was the most a, of it. He was Sorry. a senior to take advantage of that opportunity. 9.15 here in this first period. Crowd is still piling in. Chaska with a notably bigger student section. I think Chan's student section might be down a little bit because of the team's recent play, and they haven't really been great this year, but usually Chaska Chan still draws a sizable amount of people. Madison walking in. Bitlick, that one's blocked by Wolf. The second try saved by Wyant. As I was saying earlier, it, even in the freshman and sophomore years when... Um, me and a bunch of other seniors were relatively new to the program. Uh, even when our team wasn't very good, we still drew 
quite a few amount of people. Anyway, Thomas into the draw against Whitcraft again, part two. I'm going to try to put that one in. Squirts wide. Here's Whitcraft now. He's got numbers. Whitcraft is shot. Saved by Urbansis. McDonald now pokes it away from Lang Heinrich. There's Mountang on the wall. Behind, it's intercepted by Barrett. Barrett takes a hit from Whitcraft. It's played in the wall. Whitcraft's able to come away with that. Side steps two people into the slot. Couldn't get a handle on that. Fletcher comes away. Fletcher, the recent goal scorer, getting his first of the year. Last year, walks in. Shoot. Saved by Wine. He had to fight that one off as it steered away into the corner. Madison now walks to the slot. Scores! What a beautiful feed by Madison. Omshai's there, right for it. He bats it home in the wide open net. Jessica out to a two goal lead here. Chan really with no answer right now for Chaska's speed. Gets beat again. Starkey is to awaiting Kester. Kester around the side of the goal. Here's the goal call for you. Like they are shot out of a cannon, firing on all cylinders. There's no stop from them after that goal, as they got complete control of the momentum right now. Ryan forced to make a few hard saves. As Pitt leaves for Bronson, a drive, that's blocked out in front. Good to see Bronson back on the ice here for Chaska, who was in visible pain earlier. Chuso tries to step around Bronson and he takes it away. Pitlick now. It's intercepted off the glass is Lang Heinrich. Bronson has it now, looking, looking, finds it. Ooh, just too, just a little bit behind Benz as it's sent back up off the glass the other way by Lang Heinrich. Bronson takes a hit from Highland on the wall. There's Kester now behind it. And now he comes up the middle. Kester will do it himself. Hester walking in, makes a move, by around Chapman, he gets by him, leaves for Pitlick, Pitlick, looking back door, nobody home. Davidson now, that's intercepted by Magison. Magison being shown earlier here, a shot just over the glove of Wyatt by Warner. goes wide. Here's McDonald now, in the slot, that one's blocked by Chapman. Warner loses it. Here's Lang Heinrich coming back the other way for Chan Hassan. Over the center logo, he fires on into the trapping glove of Urbanson and, it's, and he'll hold. Well, I haven't seen Billy Bronson since he... Oh, he's on there now? Oh, he's back out there now, yeah. I, I was going to say, I hadn't seen his number in a while as I was tweeting the thing. I was just tweeting the recent goal, he came back out. So that's a good time for Chaska. Bronson's back out there. Looked like he was really struggling with the weight on the right leg. But Bronson is back out there for Dave Stuggerud and the Chaska Hawks. Yeah, you're right about that one, um, Ryan. Bronson, uh, a good defender that uh, Chaska really cannot afford to lose as we make this final push for the section playoffs. Magison and McDonald, seen a hefty dose of those two so far. Barrett fakes the slap shot, walks around Wolf. Barrett now. Barrett, strive, that goes wide. McDonald behind the Chan goal. And another drive, turned aside into the corner by Wyatt. Magnuson holds on the wall and Thomas will throw it back deep into the chat, or Chan Hassan corner. Off the wall, Wolf, that's too far for his player. Starkey will have it now. He gives to his partner Magnuson. Just too far ahead of Kulix as Wolf now has it. Wolf finds a man coming through the middle, that's Bimberg. Bimberg couldn't get a handle on that one. 
Starkey loses it. Shot, nice save by Urbansis. Has a turnover right there. And Davidson gets a shot on. Almost a grand mistake by John Starkey. A turnover in the Chanhassen offensive zone. Almost led to a goal, but Urbansis was ready for it. Yeah, luckily Urbansis was there and ready to go. Lavelle walking in. Shot right into the chest of Wyant. And he'll hold on. Lane Heinrich and Kulix exchange a couple words. Kester with it on the sidewall. He's hit down by Trusso. It's under Kester. Omshad walking in now. Shot. Wyant sprawling is able to make the save as Highland comes away with it. Gives to Chapman. Chapman couldn't handle. Kester sidesteps ahead as he's taken down. And that'll be a penalty against Chanhassen. Kester able to do that oh so much with his ability as he has some words for Lang Heinrich. Hawks, one for one on the power play tonight. Got that first goal uh, just eight seconds into the first power play earlier tonight. Let's see if they can do it again here. They'll have a offensive zone faceoff. Kester will stay out for that power play as they bring in the heavy unit of Olmscheid, Lavelle, and Benz, along with Magnuson at the point. Magnuson able to hold the zone. Nice play there. Push it around Whitcraft. Over to Kester on the blue line. Kester, a shot. Just wide of the net. The shot. Saved by Wyant. Justin calls two minutes for tripping was the last penalty. We've got a minute and 41 to go in the man advantage for the Hawks. As Jessica will make a few personnel changes here, a minute 41 left on this power play. Coach Nugger didn't see what he liked in the first 20 or so seconds. Barrett now on the dot. He takes a hit on the wall. Pitlick comes in to reinforce. He's there. Pitlick walking around, making some moves, dancing. Kester behind the chair and goal. Pitlick leaves for Kester. Kester. Warner now. Warner shoots. Off the glove, into the corner. Turn away by Wyatt. Pitlick. Walks. Waits. Waits. Looking back door. Able to find Barrett in the slot. Scores! Absolute money from Dave Snugger to the Chaska Hawks. Almost halfway through the penalty. They go up 3-0. Beautiful awareness there by Pitlick to draw all the attention to him and leave uh, Barrett able to walk into the slot who puts it up over the glove of Wyatt. Chaska 3, Chanhassen 0. We saw this the other night against Bloomington Jefferson where Chaska came out hard in the first period and towards the end they gave up a few goals to let Bloomington back in the game and we'll see how they uh, react to the lead here in this different game. A scrum ensues in front of the Chaska bench. Here you go, we'll let you have the announcement. There you go, there's an announcement for you. Spinning behind his own goal is Bimberg. Thomas finds, falls down. Thomas able to come away with it now. In the slot, Starkey, what a save by Wyant as he comes out to challenge. And Fletcher in there, as usual. But he gets out of it. So that goal officially reads Barrett from Pitlick. Chaska two for two on the power play tonight. Lavelle drops for Kester. Kester gives to Olmscheid who gives it right back to Kester. To Kulix. 
Cooks watched by Highland as he's softly put down. Calls over the line. Tries to center it, intercepted by Bronson. Bronson tries to find a breaking Lavelle. Couldn't get it to him. And that's too far for Olmstad as Kulix loses his stick. Kester sends it back the other way into the Chanhassen zone. And Wolf will wait behind his goal. And set up. Back the other way now. Chanhassen. That's held by Pitlick. Pitlick gives to Lavelle. Lavelle walks in. Just too far for Pitlick. Davidson and Warner is going to take a high stick penalty, high sticking penalty there. First so penalty against the Hawks, sorry Colin, first penalty against the Hawks this game. Chan Hassan on the power play, 20.4% on the year. No worries there Ryan, you read my mind. But Warner goes off for the high stick, and Pitlick walks right around Wolf, and Ben's offside, so Chasker will curl back, looking for an opportunity here. Woodcraft looks. Barrett's able to get to Magnuson. Magnuson will set it down on goal. Wyant forced to make the save, and he'll hold on. A minute 27 to go in this first period. Chaska leads 3-0. Stay with us during the period break as you will hear from our sideline reporter, or rinkside reporter. No, no, we're gonna say we're gonna go between the glass with Greg Erickson. Lang Heimers with speed here, walks around Kulix, centers, finds a man, score! That's Charlie Montang. Beautiful goal by Charlie Montang. That's impressive. Power play goal. So teams tonight, three for three combined on the power play. Special teams are going to be a deciding factor in this contest. It's a nice play by Ling Heinrich to walk right around Kulix and pull Starkey into the corner to find Montang back door who roofs it over Bansis. There's some fight left still in Chanhassen. That pass is too far for Willier. It's been all Chaska this period. Here's the announcement. There you go. The first goal officially leads. Montang from Lane Heinrich for Chanhassen, and they dig deep, or they dig a, li a little bit out of their hole that they're in right now. Lavelle now with it in the offensive zone. Elects to go behind the goal as advanced, or excuse me, Warner. Another attempt is stopped by Wyant. He's pushed into the wall by Chapman. Chapman, the senior, who has one point, which is an assist on this year, and it's gloved down by Wyant. 17.2 seconds left in this first period. A shot off the face off by Benz and that's gloved down by Wyant. Off the face-off, that's too far for Magnuson, and we have 10 seconds here left in the period. Pitlick couldn't hold on to that as it's bounced out. Official wave off the hand pass. Three seconds and one. And that's the end of the first period here. Cheska three, Shan Hassan one. Stay with us after the commercial break. We'll go down to sideline reporter Greg Erickson.
Lenz and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business, proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So There's a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries, helping you return to the activities that fuel your passion. St. Francis Rehabilitative Services with clinic locations in Jaska, Shakopee, and Savage. Schedule an appointment today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the first intermission here at Chaska Community Center. After one period of play, Chaska leads Chanhassen 3-1. to one. We'll go down to the sideline. Excuse me, we're going to go between the glass with our reporter, Greg Erickson. Greg, what do you think of the play uh, this first period? The, the Chaska Hawks are sporting. They are treating this game like a playoff game today. They are taking advantage of a couple of uh, penalties that the Storm have committed. They've got two power play goals here tonight so far, and but they are on top three to one after the first period. 
that last game the other night here against Bloomington Jefferson, Chaska stormed out early with the lead and let uh, Jefferson get back into it. Do you think uh, there's any indicators that today's game is going to be like that as well? Yeah, I, I think you're right about that one. Uh, Chaska's speed is kind of a struggle for Chan early on here, and in order for them to get back into this game, I, I think, I don't know what you think, but I think uh, Chan's going to have to try to counterattack that somehow. Yeah, just one last final question for you. I think um, what Chaska comes out to start with this period will uh, kind of be a determining factor. They're going to have to, Chan's going to come out hard because they're down and they're, they want to get back in this thing. All right, thank you, Greg. We'll come back to you later during the second intermission. As we're going to head to commercial break, we'll be back with the second period of action soon here at the Chaska Community Center. Lenz & Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business, proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So There's a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries, helping you return to the activities that fuel your passion. St. Francis Rehabilitative Services with clinic locations in Chaska, Shakopee, and Savage. Schedule an appointment today.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for the second period of action here during this Saturday afternoon matinee, the border battle, Chaska versus Chanhassen. We had an entertaining first period, and we're getting ready to go for the second. Well, we're glad that you uh, you joined us here again, Ryan Paul. I'm, that's Colin Jacobson doing the play-by-play -play tonight. So far, a 3-1 game for the Hawks. They took a 3-1 lead. A three nothing lead before Chan has an answer on a pedal or on the power play with 61 seconds to go in the period. But they come here now into this middle frame and Ben Arantz is looking good so far. Shots were lopsided in the first period, Colin. Yeah, that's just honestly because Chaska has that ability to skate right around Chan Hassan. They dominated the whole period. Um, Chan Hassan got that power play at the end of the period. They made the game not look as lopsided. Um, but other than that, Chaska has been out in full force here. Like Greg Erickson said, treating this like a playoff game as the Hawks are stressing getting ready for section playoffs in this very tough 2 A section. Uh, no carryover penalties nor power plays to start here. And we are live from Chester Community Center for the second period. Uh, Chan Hassan in their traveling blue and cream jerseys while Chaska's in their home purple, white, and gold. So we have an early ice to start here. Just 12 seconds into the period. Right off the draw, an attempted shot doesn't make its way through as Pitlick comes away with a whole full head of steam, tries to make a move on Groff, is not able to come up with that. On the blue line, Bronson shovels it back in. Bronson again, it's gloved by Wyatt. Warner, it's right there on the doorstep. And both teams will make some changes early in this second period. Benz against Gonzalez, or excuse me, that's Olmscheid. Magnuson spins away from hit as he shoves it down into the corner. Chapman behind his own goal. Off the boards to Lang Heinrich. Lang Heinrich with, I'm thinking, a lot of wax on his stick as he puts a hard hit into Kulix, and he's going to take a penalty. And Kulix... He's going to negate that power play as he was not happy with that hit. So we'll play five on five as we end up getting coincidental minors. Then they're saying Lane Heinrich with quite a bit of wax on the bottom of his stick, making it look like he has pink tape, but that is not pink tape, that's white tape. Yeah, Mason Kulix took a big hit down behind the goal line and as many of us would do, he took a little bit of a slash at the Chan Hassan player at his shin pad, so that one didn't get by the referee, and we play five on five after the coincidental penalty. A little retaliation costly there for Kulix, but regardless, we'll play even strength here, because both of them will go sit for two. Highland now with it. Can't get it past Kester as we go quick the other way. Fletcher's hit hard, and he's down. Fletcher took a high hit because he's down on the ice. Fletcher hurt badly. Well, this gives us a good time. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back at the and Chevrolet Buick, Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Lens and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So
And welcome back to the Chaska Community Center. We're going to send it down to Greg Erickson. We are still watching it as Keith Fletcher is being attended to on the ice by certified athletic trainer in Chaska High School medical staff, Nicole Anderson, John Summer, the athletic director, also down there. Greg, fill us in on what you saw. <laughs> Well, a good sign. A good sign as we see Parker Wolf from Chen Hassan uh, helping him up there. Uh, so he he comes off. He'll sit in the penalty box and get checked out. And as we still play five on five hockey, Greg, great job on the PA so far. Anything else you can tell us as you're down there? You know what? He's an obvious team, but I do think that he's going to be all right. All right. Thank you, Greg. We will come back to you a little later. Back in action from the Chaska Community Center. Well, that's a good sign there. Um, for Cheska and Keith himself, he looks very, very dazed right now. As between the glass reporter, Erickson had a good view of it. Butcher just took a hard hit, spurred into the boards. So we'll, we'll pay attention to that as he's getting his head checked out by Nicole Anderson. Nice save there by Wyant. Um, Good sportsmanship shown there by um, Captain Parker Wolf of Chanhassen, who helped Fletcher get up. Um, like I said earlier, the everybody knows each other on this team, and nobody wants to see anyone get hurt, um, especially bad like that. I think there is a little bad blood, obviously, kind of when you when you're just leading up to the game. Obviously, everybody loves the Chan game, but when you see that these these people really are, you know, deep down their friends, and this is a one community, it's great to see. The, uh, the Chaska Chanhassen uh, you know, community come together like that. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think that's right at all levels um, of sports, uh, regardless if it's just hockey or if it's basketball, um, baseball, uh, football. Um, there's so much talk and whatnot coming up to the game, but nobody wants to see anybody hurt badly. And like you said, everyone deep down is, they know each other and they're friends. So we'll pay attention to Kester or excuse me, Fletcher, as Chanhassen is on the delayed penalty call as it's poked away there. Chaska able to still come away with it. Kester comes on the ice now, walks in, loses a handle on it in the crease, or excuse me, slot. Chaska still on the delayed penalty call. Esther turns it away, and is going to get the opportunity to set back up on the six-on-five man advantage. Urbantis is at the net. Excuse me, at the bench. I'm a little sidestepped right now, I apologize, as uh, Fletcher is a do friend of mine, and he's being taken back to the locker room for further evaluation. So, I hope he's okay, as he still was in viable pain. Not sure what the call was here. We'll wait for Erickson to announce that. Uh, regardless, Chaska two for two on the power play already. As both teams are three for three on the power play. As Warner sends a wrister just wide of the goal. Barrett on the line. Here we are. There you are. Uh, Fletcher will not return to today's contest. They're deeming it a head injury. So we get the live updates from Twitter from Eric Croucher. Thank you, Eric, for that one. On the blue line, Kester walks, waits. He gets it back in a drive. Just deflected wide of the goal. Warner now with it. Gives the Pitlick behind the goal. Pitlick looking, looking. Finds a man in the slot, right into the glove, and Wyant is able to come away with that. Tessa changes the power play personnel with a minute 17 to go. 
as it squirts back out to Kester. Kester seems to never get off the ice on the power play. He, he's included in both units. As Kester's like the Energizer Bunny, he never runs out of energy. Kester watched by Davidson, makes behind the back play to Magnuson, and Chask is up quickly the other way. Lavelle walking in, a shot right in the midsection of Lyant. And then there'll be a faceoff deep in the Chanhassen zone. As we pass the time between faceoffs, jumping around like they do in Madison. We're back. Magnuson walking, shooting, and saved by Lyon as Wolf goes spinning. Ravel in for the draw, and he loses it to Strand. It's rang around the glass, but Kester's there waiting for it on the blue line. Kester to Benz. Benz. Kester will receive it back. D to D between the partners. Lavelle walks back door looking for Benz. His stick was canceled out by Whitcraft. Chess is able to regather. A drive from Lavelle and the rebound. Initial save by Wyatt, and he'll make the second one, and Chan has to will clear the zone. Urbance is with it now. He pushes it past the watching Whitcraft. And Kester has not left the ice for this power play. We are now at full strength. Benz chips it past Groff. He's able to get it now. Up off the wall. Kester makes a move there on Willer. He still has it around Gonzalez. Kester trying to get around Willer to break to the net. He's not able to. He's able to send that into the corner now. A Barrett in a drive off the goal post. That squirts out to McDonald, who leaves it for Barrett. Barrett stops, goes on the brakes again. He's hit by Willer, he escapes that. Warner finds it. Warner, a shot, blocked it away by Wyatt. Wolf, got a man breaking, that's Gonzalez. Gonzalez in, just a bit too far. He takes a hit from Warner. He couldn't get that shot off. As Ocell pokes it out of the zone. Bimberg to Wolf. They can't send that into the chassis zone cleanly. Wolf now finds back at his blue line, and they'll go up the other way. That's too far, a pass from. And then they'll go back, and icing called on Chaska. First icing of the game we've got. Well, you saw in that last rush by Chaska where they, coming off the power play, they, uh, they had a handful of shots on goal. You saw Mike Kester skating around in the higher zone for the Hawks. That's what he does best. He gets a lot of his goals off of those plays where he just skates around with the puck and waits for an open shooting lane. Trousseau, that's poked away by Bronson. Chassis up with numbers, partially the other way. But Ling Heinrich sniffs that one out. Ocell has it now as he gets a pass from Bronson, taking it wide into the zone. Tries to find Pitlick just too far of him. Pitlick now, walking around. Around Highland, a shot. That's taken away by safety to safety by Chapman. Pitlick now sidesteps Highland. Keep, kept in the zone by Bronson. Down behind the chance and goal can't be held quick, goodly, or can't be held well by, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, we'll start back behind the chance to net with Lang Heinrich. Is that saucered out just too far for Caruso? As we're gonna, we're gonna have a penalty against Chaska. Yeah, from the early looks of things, it's gonna be a too many men penalty against the Hawks. Dave Snuggerud is livid about the call. It'll be Chaska's. Owen Thomas headed to the bin to take this bench miner. The second bench miner for too many men in the game for Chaskia. Storm capitalized. They got their only goal to hockey game off that power play earlier. 
Sorry to correct you, Ryan, but uh, the first one was on Chan Hassan. You're right, you're right. We thought it was against Chaska, but it turned out being Chan Hassan. That's correct, that's correct. Chan Hassan in the second power play, one for one on the day. Wolf walking, shooting. That's blocked out front by Magnuson, and it's batted to safety by Olmscheid. Olmscheid with it now. They have a partial two on one here. Short handed, finds a foul. Oh, he couldn't hold on to it. Magnuson, or Barrett with it now, walking in. He finds Olmscheid, Olmscheid to Lavelle. Lavelle trying to go back. One too many passes there. Horchaska is deep into the corner now. Groff has it behind his own goal. He'll come out slowly, give it to Wolf. Wolf coming in, waiting, dropping. He comes away with it now. Takes a hit by Barrett as his centering pass goes all the way down the length of the ice. And they'll do Chaska solid. Off the wall, that'll be an icing against Chanhassen. Chanhassen a little erratic to start this second power play. Deep in the Chanhassen zone, Chaska short-handed. Kester will pull it back and he'll make a nice move on the official. Bronson will lift it down the other way, Wyant out behind to play it. Wyant partially hit by his own man. Chapman with it now, tries to poke it ahead for Pitlick, but Pitlick's got it here. Takes a few hacks from Chapman. Chaska was offside there. Lynn Heinrich steps away from Kester and gives to Chapman. Chapman, high hit on Kester. Kester's slow to get up. Because he was hit high. Bronson took a hard hit from Highland as the officials will talk it over. Looks like we're going to be headed for some four-on-four -four hockey here. We still have 20 seconds left in the bench rider to Chaska. And we're going to send Chan Hassan's number five, Carter Chapman, to the box for two minutes, presumably. I've been watching uh, Coach Willis, the first-year head coach for Chan Hassan, um, so far this game. He's very, very calm on the bench. When calls aren't going their ways and he's talking to the official, he seems to remain very calm. That's just an interesting tidbit. I would agree with you. Very composed. I've noticed that too. What a save point, Blake, by Wyatt with Warner crashing. And there's some showing. Warner's taken down in front of the goal. As I'm not sure who that was, but he put his arm around Warner and threw him down. The culprit's slow to get up now. See, he must have got the receiving part of that. That's Wolf. Wolf holding his wrist. Coming back to the bench. He's viably hurt. He's in some pain. Is he? Wolf throws his helmet hard on the bench. No, Nicole is now talking to Wolf, who's bent over on his bench. Now the refs are going to want to take a player for Wolf. And Warner's going to go too. I think we're going to get coincidentals. As that does not go over well with the Chaska crowd. Yeah, some, some confusion here. They're trying to sort it all out. They send Warner to the penalty box. They're also going to take a player from the Chan Hansen bench to serve for Parker Wolf. 
as we're going to probably get coincidental roughing miners or something of that nature. With 8.05 left in the period. We're already playing 4-on-4 four four hockey for 10 more seconds. Wolf is still hobbled over on the bench right now. They are looking to attempt to try to get him off the bench. He's in some pain. Hopefully for him, this isn't uh, the end of his season. Wolf, he was holding his first in with a partial break. Gester finds Billick score! Right after the penalty expired to Thomas. Jasset comes back the other way as Kester puts up what looks like to be his 118th point as a Hawk. As the Kester family section here out in full force. That may be Kester taking over the leading scorer in Chaska High School boys hockey history. We'll find that one out about Kester later. We got five on five here. I'm sure Greg Erickson, the PA announcer, will announce something of that significant to that. So we'll play five on five here. Well. There's, they've taken penalty, the penalty yeah, off yeah. the board. Yep. So it'll, be, it'll the, the coincidental miners to Warner and and Chapman will stay. Kester off the wall. So Chaska increases their lead over Chan, has a 4 to 1. Nice move by Lavelle, but he falls down. He hit the leg. As Pitlick sidesteps, slaying Heinrich. Chaska has got a 2 on 1 here. Back, Lavelle scores! The route's on, baby! The route's on. Chaska now pouring on. They wait no time to increase that lead again. Chaska five, Chan Essen one, halfway through this second period. Chaska's not gonna let up here. That faceoff's one, two cleanly back into the Chan Hassan zone. As Sigurdsson and Wilmer Ty Wilmer actually has the stick between his leg, <laughs> or his the uh, toque of his skate. Backhand shoveled on. I may believe that's one of Chan's very few shots this period. Here's the announcement for the goal. Big goal there for Chasco. As Ling Heinrich and the ref exchange some few words. Tell you one thing, Ling Heinrich is not out here to make friends right now. He is not. Chapman lost the handle a little bit, but he's able to get it back for Highland. Let's poke back to Chapman, who throws it up off a of body. Uh, with that injury to Wolf, that's Chan Hessen's best defender. So that's a big loss for them. We're down two 
players in this game so far, one for each team. Chaska did not start the contest with uh, an injured Cuss, who's been a role player for them this year, as he has a concussion. His third or fourth game missed by Cuss. Bends on the wall, sidesteps a hit from Calls off the sideboard. Bronson has it now. Benz was tripped up. There's a little sloppy play and Chasco will regather. It's thrown off the wall by ben Bronson. Chasco has got a three on one here. Centered. Oh, just missed the net. That was Osell. McDonald with a nice play to get that to him. Groff's hit. Benz a shot off the side of the goal. Lane Heinrich throws out the wall. Montang throws a hit on Olms Osell. Erickson seeing his first time ice time tonight. Montang now with it. Walks around McDonald. McDonald behind the goal. Erickson looking. Pass is intercepted by Whitcraft. A shot on just turned uh, beside the goal by Urbansis. As that's Chan's first scoring opportunity of the period. Here comes Kester now. Kester working on Severson. Kester. Through the legs of Wyant. And that slides through the crease. Kester was waiting for an incoming Osell. But Osell couldn't tap in that goal. It was too far. Erickson. Gives back to Kulix. Kulix looks. Chips it off the wall. Kester comes away with that now. Kester. It's chipped in by Kulix down into the Chan Essen zone. And fans wanting an icing call. Sigerson behind the net to in front of the net. That's turned aside by Wyant. Behind the goal now. Kulix leaves for Kester. Kester slides it to Severson of Chan Hess and intercepts that. As it's held in the zone, that was Kulix. Behind the wall, it's poked off. Couldn't see who that one was. I think it's Severson. Olmscheid sidesteps a man. It's Groffel ringing around the boards. Held in by Starkey. And then a drive just goes wide by Starkey. Sigurdsson, his shot was canceled out by Bimberg. Starkey will play it off the wall. That's for Barrett. Barrett gives to Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson's got Lavelle. Lavelle tries to make a man, man miss. In the slot. Starkey, that one's blocked down. Lovig. Highland's got some speed here. Highland walking in. That's poked away by Barrett. Nice defensive play by him there. Chapman on the sideboards working with Lavelle. The thing that Chaska's not going to be, you know, the, the columns aren't going to write about tomorrow, so to say, but they've really done well tonight as defense. They've not allowed Chad Aston to get any scoring chances, and I mean that quite seriously. Only eight shots in that first period. Yeah, and not a, very many shots so far this period here, so if Chad Aston's looking to get back into this game, they uh, might want to change their plan of attack, uh, just trying to throw more pucks on goal. As they take an icing penalty in both coincidental minors will come out of the box. Yeah, that, um... I said that off the mic, but those must have been major penalties that were assessed because those were longer than two minutes. Warner directly out of the box, onto the ice. Warner, a key player for Chaska here. A whiff clearing attempt leads to Warner steal and a hook by Whitcraft. There's no call there. That's a bad hook missed by the officials as a centering attempt was no good again. All the way down the length of the ice, there'll be no icing on against Chan Hassan. Madison behind his own goal, start up for Chaska, just too far, and a shot on, turned aside by Urbansis, and that was Mon or Montang with a puck on the platter. They couldn't get a handle on that, looking for a second goal of the game. Would have been Montang's second one of the game, as you just said. He had a very beautiful goal in the first period as time expired. The 
the center of the ice. There's Lovig. Sends it into the Chaska zone. Chan looks a little tired right now. As Chaska has been weathering their hitting storm. Get it? Weathering the storm. A minute to go here in the second period. Pass intercepted by Kester as he'll shove it back into the Chanhassen zone. Lovig for Chanhassen. Sidesteps Kulix. A shot in the second attempt saved by Urbansis. Comes around on the wall. Bronson now, or excuse me, that's Lavelle. Slides it to Kester. Kester looking, waiting. Goes wide. Groff is hit by Olmscheid. As he waits for reinforcements, Lavelle leaves it on the wall. That's swung up a miss. Oh, Olmscheid, if you could have gotten that, he could have had a mini break there. Lovig sent it down the length of the zone. Gonzalez on here. Erickson takes that puck away from him. As it comes out to Chapman. Chapman can't get a handle on it. Warner walking in. Shot just over the goal as Calls is able to get a stick on that. Squirts out to Pitlick. Pitlick at the end of the period. That is turned away by Wyatt. End of two periods of play here at the community center in Chaska. Chaska commandingly leads Chanhassen 5-1. Lenz and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business, proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So There's a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries, helping you return to the activities that fuel your passion. St. Francis Rehabilitative Services with clinic locations in Chaska, Shakopee, and Savage. Schedule an appointment today.
All right, welcome back to this second intermission here at the community center. Chaska, after two periods of play, currently leads Chanhassen five to one. Um, we'll go down between the glass with Greg Erickson, who was right there for that Keith Fletcher hit. Greg, what did you see there? Well, look at that. That was a smashing blow that Keith took right here in front of us in the box. He hit his head up against the glass. I was a little worried about his neck there. He was on the ice for quite a while, but he was responding to the cold uh, care, and he was able to get up on his own power, leave the ice. I have talked to Nicole, and she told me that Keith is going to be okay. All right, well, we hope the best for Fletcher. And on the other side, um, did you see anything uh, with Parker Wolf? We saw he came down back to the bench, and he slammed his helmet pretty hard, and he was in some pretty excruciating pain. All right, well, that's a good sign for Chan Hassan. Um, so the, uh, the pace picked up a little bit as uh, we got to the end. We saw a little bit of uh, blood kind of boiling over. Um, what do you think of uh, how this third period is going to come down? Well, let me tell you, there were six penalties taken in that period. One of them was a too many men on the ice, but a lot of them were offsetting penalties. So they were getting into some pretty good scrum down in front of the net or in the corners. Uh, these two teams are going to go hard at each other, and I believe that some of the, some of the uh, penalties did result in goals, um, but uh, once again, Chasco was able to stay on top, score a 5-1 year after two. Yeah, we'll see uh, how this third period unfolds. Chan Hessen uh, visibly upset, um, rightfully so. Uh, they lost the first game. They're in danger of getting sweeped. They're getting heavily outplayed this game, so it should be an interesting third, and hopefully both teams can walk away healthy. They're in danger of that. Uh, as we had indicated on the first broadcast, uh, the first meeting of these two teams in the season, every single time Chaska has won a game against Chanhassen, whenever they win, they have a score of five goals, exactly five goals. That means that uh, if they do want to... to Keep that trend moving. They're not going to score anymore in the third period. But frankly, I have a prediction that Chaska is going to break that streak tonight. They are going to score much more than five in this ball game. Well, as you remember, folks, Ryan Paul here. Um, as you remember in our first broadcast, Greg and I did the uh, were on the call from Victoria Recreation Center. He rightfully picked that chant. That what, what? Tell him again what you said, Greg. Well. That's what it was. Very interesting facts. Five goals in that game earlier this season, one month ago, in the Victoria Fieldhouse. Well, I think you deserve a title higher than side or ringside reporter, maybe pre prediction master. And uh, hey, come on, he's between the glass. <laughs> all right, all right, between the glass. <laughs> all right, Greg, thanks very much. We'll uh, we'll listen to you on these. Hopefully, some more Chaska goal calls as we come down the stretch here. We'll catch up with you after the game. Thanks, guys. I uh, hope to get some player interviews after the game. Sounds great. That's Greg Erickson, ringside reporter. When we come back from commercial break, we'll have the third period of action here on the London Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Lens and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business, proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So
there's a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries, helping you return to the activities that fuel your passion. St. Francis Rehabilitative Services, with clinic locations in Chaska, Shakopee, and Savage. Schedule an appointment today. All right, we're getting ready here at the community center for the third period of play. Chaska with a stranglehold lead, five to one over rival Chanhassen. A few scary moments, as we talked about during the intermission in the second period, with uh, Chanhassen's Parker Wolf and Chaska's Keith Fletcher. We'll try to monitor both those situations. Did learn, did learn that Keith Fletcher will not return for Correct. Uh, Eric Croucher. Chess Carroll, sports editor, but uh, no official word on Parker Wolf at his status. But we're about ready to go here, just waiting Chess to come back out for this third period. As Chan Hassan gathers around their bench, I'm sure some Inspirational words are spoken. Well, you said in the, in the intermission, this would be your final time signing out from Chaska Community Center on the CHP. And it'll also be many of these seniors' final time playing this big game. Um, the Chan, Chan Chaska games are always fun to play in all sports, but you know, for these guys, they live for these moments. 5 1 right now. Let's hope Chaska can hold on. But you know, a great moment forthcoming. You know, Chaska, Ben Urbans is the one of the few seniors that will play here for Chaska on a regular basis. What a cool moment for him to be able to play tonight. Yeah, it is a good moment. Chaska, uh, when we came into the program, Chaska was down, Chan was up, and we got smacked by them, and we were able to turn it around, and we have the potential this year of going 4-0 combined with both teams in the two games played. So we're ready for the bumpy road to the finish here. No worth carry over penalties, nor power plays, as we're ready in the second. Worth noting, the, as we come out, the bleachers on the Chanhassen side have been vacated to an extreme. Not This could just be because there are some people out of the concession area, but I did see a handful of folks actually leaving. Uh, so this down 5-1, not a great sign for the Chanhassen program. Yeah, not a lot of hope for the Chanhassen parents. Uh, with Cheska with their lead right now, but... We'll see, anything is possible here. Kester gives to Bronson who whiffs on a pass in the Chaska zone. Now Pitlick's able to come away with that and spin back as he drops for Bronson. Bronson, a shot saved by Wyant. He'll hold for a face off deep in the Chanhassen zone. 16.27 to go here in this third period of play.
Off right off the face off a wobbling shot. She goes over Wyant. That was taken by Kulix. Ravel keeps it in the corner. Lane Heinrich for Chan Hessen now. Up off the wall. Lavelle with it. Drops to Magnuson. Magnuson scores! What a goal! Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right in front of the Chan fans. Chaska continuing to pour on here. It only takes them 55 seconds in this first period to add to the lead. Magnuson takes the brilliant behind the back feed from Lavelle and he roofs it up over Wyatt's shoulder. Magnuson with it for Barrett. Barrett to McDonald. Couldn't get a clean handle. Here's Montang. Shot blocked. Another one is thrown just beside the goal. That puck's turned on into the slot. Here's the announcement. There you go. As it officially reads, Magnuson from Lavelle. We're deep in the Chaska zone. Chaska breaking it out with Barrett. He takes a charge ahead. Nice move to walk right around. Oh, off the goal post. That hit the elbow of the post. Almost nice. a mirror image. Sorry to cut you off, but almost a mirror image of that Magnuson goal. Correct, yeah. That nice backhand toe drag by Barrett. It almost puts it up over the shoulder again on Lyon. Hits a player on the Chan Hassan bench. And that puck is propelled out of play. So we'll go back into the Chan zone. With 14.56 in this third period, Chaska with a commanding 6-1 lead. Chaska Athletics have done very well this year against Chan Hassan. Which is a good sign for Hawks fans and super fans at Chaska. Pitlick, a quick shot over the goal. Another drive right into the midsection. And Wyant will hold on. Starkey wound up. And Heinrich on Warner. Not necessary. And Warner pushes Heinrich down Lane Heinrich. Literally just yanking Warner out of the circle. Blaine that Warner didn't like that. They might send. Are they going to send Lane Heinrich? They're going to send both of them. See now. To me, that's bogus because Jacob Lane Heinrich really instigated that whole thing. Blaine Warner really couldn't do much other than push off of him. Yeah, you're right about that. Blaine wasn't even doing much. He was just standing there and Blaine Heinrich, probably frustrated with this game, came in and just pushed him. And Warner had to kind of pull out in order to get out of there. And oh well, both will go. Refs trying to keep this game at bay as much as they can. There's Parker Wolf back out again. That's a good sign for Chan as he throws it up off the wall by the breakaway hockey room. Five on five hockey here with 14.30 to go in this third period. Behind the goal, Wolf plays to Highland. As Trusso flies out of the zone, but that's intercepted by Lavelle and sent back the other way. Trickling into the corner. Groff. That's passed intercepted by Omshot. Omshot, a second shot. That would not go. Kulik's down behind uh, Lavelle. Omshot able to beat Groff to the puck there. That's just too far for Lavelle. Back the other way now. Trusso with it for Chanhassen. Chuso, a shot into the glove of Urbansis for the first shot this period by Chan Hassan. 13.52 here in this third period. Face off one by Benz for Chaska. It's in front of the net though. Second opportunity. 
scores. That puck squirts out and Urbanson's trying to make the sprawling save. And Chan cuts into the Chaska lead. Has a set play here, but Chan defenseman lined up back, and he comes through. That pass is too far for him. That's Tyler Davidson. A shot on just goes wide of her bances. So Gonzalez from Lovig and Bimberg. Well, Chan has his second goal of the game. They Cuts down Chess's lead, 6-2. Benzel shuffled that into the zone. Uh, defensive zone for Chanesson as Ocell will watch, but Severson's able to come away with it. That comes to Davidson. Davidson walking in, shot. Nice save there by Urbanis. Point Blake on Davidson. Urbanis there for that. Ocell, and this turn the other way. Chan's got numbers, led by Whitcraft. Whitcraft. In the slot, save up over Urbansis. He's made the initial save. Another save, that's poked away to safety. Chan with a little rush here after that goal. Wolf centers, Davidson, what a sprawling save by Urbansis as that puck somehow stays out of the net and it's thrown away by Barrett to safety. Wow, what a play. McDonald. Uh, Chan has some fans not happy with uh, oh, sla Slash, I think. I didn't really see it. Kulix here. Chapman able to push that past him. Chuso now on the while it's poked away from him by Starkey. Trusto's pushed by Starkey. Back in the Chanesson corner. Omshad pokes it away. On the wall. Barrett has it. It's taken away by Calls. Calls up to Trusso. And he'll fire it opposite end corner. Back Chaska's Kester picks it up. He walks right around Lovig. Comes Chaska's Kester. Kester walking in right around. He's hauled down. No call. The refs may have gone to sleep a little bit here as they may have missed two penalties recently. Here's Lovig. Lovig curls back. That's poked away by Olmscheid. And a retreating Groff picks it up. Continuing back to Lovig. Theme, continuing that theme he solid takes, defense. Lovig takes a hit from Kester as we're back in the Chaska defensive zone. Bronson. Bronson, pass intercepted by Bimberg, right around, and it's also go offside. Both the players have come out of the penalty box here. Ten forty left in this third period. Chaska leads Shanhassen six to two. Erickson finds Pitlick. Pitlick gives to Warner. Warner a shot just wide of the goal. And the second chance off that carom is held by Wyatt. As Warner it's quickly back in there as he takes a few shoves. I love watching Blaine Warner out there on the ice. He had to miss, as we said earlier in the broadcast, the majority of the first half of the season with a lower body injury or an upper body injury. Back out there and playing his heart out. Love to see it. Warner, like I said earlier, a key player for Chaska. Who ever since coming back to the lineup has been a daily a shot. Nice save there by Wyant. What I was saying was uh, Warner, ever since coming back to the lineup, was a key contributor game after game. Because he's been putting up points.
in the Chanhassen zone. Calls steps in against Warner. And Calls will be thrown out, so Highland will come in. Warner wins the draw. Ben's shot is propelled up into the netting. Warner gives a chop to Highland, and they exchange a few words. Warner versus Calls now. That'll actually happen. Draw just stays right there, and Groff's able to come away with it. Pitlick's there in his feet. So Ben's, he whiffs on a shot in the slot. Comes away with it now. And Highland goes down as he takes a hit. Chan Hessen uh, with not a lot of answers for Chaska in this game. Hawks, a very talented young team. Almost all they're scoring this year, coming from the under, from the non-senior class. Landry Cuss, one of the seniors, has done a lot of goals or a handful of goals scoring this year. You have a couple goals out there on the varsity level, so a very young team that Dave Snuggerud has here. So good signs for the future, yeah, for this Chaska club. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Chaska should be uh, an interesting team to watch next year, as their uh, their juniors were make their way to the senior status after our seniors leave. McDonald sends a feed from Thomas Wide. And we have a penalty here on Lang Heinrich. He'll go back to the penalty box. Sigurdsson draws that one. 9.14 left in this third period. I think Heinrich seems to like his time in the penalty box. He just can't avoid going into there, it seems like. He had a couple. He had a penalty last game, and these two teams met, and now he has two here tonight. So Chaska to the power play, leading 6-2. Pavel falls down. They aren't able to get out of the zone, and then it is sent down by Whitcraft. Batsis will play it behind his goal. Kester... Leaves for Lavelle. Lavelle shimmies away. As Lavelle falls down, but he gets back up. Kester's hit from behind. He's down and he's hurt. Kester is, is hurt. Kester fell and didn't, didn't come back up. He took an elbow into his back and went straight into the boards. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that one snuck away from the officials as they were right there. Not a good sign. Kester's slow to get up. Kester gets back up. He's not going to let that stop him if I don't like Kester. He's holding onto his neck. He's bent over, coming back. He'll go back to the Chaska bench. Doesn't, doesn't want to hop over the, bleed, the bench. It's hard to keep Kester off the ice. Yeah. Nicole is going to try her best to keep him on the uh, on the bench, but he's going to get checked out first, and I'm sure he's not very happy about that. He scored his, what was it, his 118th point tonight? We yep. think he is now the all-time leading scorer in Chaska Hawks history. Yet to confirm that, though, but hoping for the best for Mike Kester. Snuggerud, Coach Snuggerud has a few words with the official who was right there in the corner for that play. See, the, the weird thing in blowout games is the officials tend to step back and they don't want to call as many penalties, especially on the team getting blown out. But there's got to be a fine line between um, just penalties and when players are getting hurt. So when players are start getting hurt, they they, they got to come in and do their job and enforce that. But you can't do that, and that's not okay. Shot scores! Calvin Barrett with the one-timer! Another beautiful. They have just had some highlight real goals tonight. It's been really fun to watch this Chaska team. We still have eight minutes left. Lane Heinrich will come out of the box. The extra point is good. Something that the Eagles and Patriots struggled with in the Super Bowl. As my beloved Patriots lost to the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, I know you're a big Patriots guy. 
in your background and your computer and everything, so. Tough to see for you, I'm sure, but. Still recovering from it. I probably will be in uh, until we get back to the start of the season. Taking advantage on numerous power play goals, and I think have a game total of seven scores. Ken Hassan still only with a pair of goals tonight. There we go. Uh, Barrett from Magnuson as that puck squeaks away from Whitcraft. Erickson will play it behind the side of Urbansis with 7:28 to go here in this third period. That puck's too far for McDonald as it's sent just wide of the Chasky goal by Wolf. Osell puts a light hit on Severson. Wolf, that's blocked by McDonald. Spin it off the backboard. Bances is first forced to propel it back into the corner. Breaking in Trusso. That puck hits Bances and just flat lines right in front of him. Montang behind it, hit by Erickson. Off the skate of McDonald, Montang's able to regather that and send it to Trusso. Trusso pokes it to Whitcraft as it's rang around the boards and it's kept in the zone by Wolf. Osell falls as he tried to put a attempt, attempted hit on Severson. Trusso in the corner, able to cancel out Bronson's stick. Off the glass, takes a weird carom out to Wolf, and that shot's blocked by Osell. It comes back up, Severson keeps the zone. Highland now walking in. Poked away by Erickson. Erickson puts a hit on Highland. Highland kicks it away. Trusso with it now. Hit by Thomas. That's Calls in the corner, working on Bronson. Bronson will just send it down the length of the ice. Well, as we have a stoppage here, someone who's been magnificent tonight, Ben Urbansis, the senior goaltender, only allowed him seven goals. To Ch uh, only allowed him two goals tonight. The Chaska defense has been helping him out as much as they can. They held him to single digits and stop shots in through the first period, but now that Ben Urbansis is starting to face a little more heat, he's been really, really magnificent tonight for the Hawks. Yeah, he's been playing well. Uh, the Chaska defense in... Or he owes the Chassis defenseman a steak dinner. They have he's played well. That's thrown into the chance and bench. It just misses a few players on the bench. Five forty left in the third period. Deep in the Chan Hassan zone. Brazil will come in. His first action tonight. He wins the faceoff up to Starkey. Starkey over to Barrett. Barrett, a shot blocked by his own man. That's Sigurdsson. Off the wall, Sigurdsson still has it. He takes it and walks it a little bit. To Barrett. Barrett on goal. That's tipped aside by Brazil. Sigurdsson with it now. Takes a hit from Langheimrich. He comes away with it, though. Has it again. And Brazil takes a We'll take a tripping call on his good buddy, Lang Heinrich, right there. Chan walks in with the delayed call. Up, that shot goes over the Chaska net. Brazil to the box with five minutes even left in this game. Chasco leads 7-2. There you go, Brazil tripping. Kester plays it off the wall. Warner puts a big hit there on Whitcraft as it squeaks out to Groff. Warner are out here trying to force a body. Chaska's got numbers here on the penalty kill. Kester back out on the ice. Good sign for Chaska. I'm sure he was out there earlier right after he got injured. 
but we didn't uh, pay attention to that. Wolf finds Davidson. Kester sniffs that one out right away. Warner exchanged a few words on the bench with Lang Heinrich as he comes onto the ice. Pitlick around. Thrown out to Trusso, just too far for him. Starkey comes back for Kester. Kester looking. Pitlick sidesteps a hit. And they're going to take both of them. Surprised they are even calling a penalty on that. That um, I don't think either of them should have been called for that. But so they're paying them the big bucks to ref the game. Well, at this point, Jacob Heinrich is doing nothing but hurting his team. Already down five goals. He's taken three recent penalties here. Really not a good sign for Chan Hassan. Jacob Heinrich, Matt, mad in the penalty box. Rightfully so. He's really just got to rein it in here. Uh, he's got to play a little bit more disciplined hockey. Uh, he came out here and he didn't really do that today. So, Well, the lack of discipline has been evident, but it's interesting that they also took Pitlick in that. We have 46 yeah. seconds left on the Chanhassen uh, power play, but it's interesting. Behind the chassis goal, Trusso's able to beat out Bronson. Highland with it now. Shot turned away by Urbansis. Urbansis and Highland, former teammates. Tesco, uh, Highland sends a wobbly wrister just wide. Bronson loses it to Calls. Calls behind the Chaska goal. 14 seconds left in this chain has power play with 3.12 to go in this third period. Looking for something. Bronson brings it around. Chaska has got a potential two on one, but Chapman's able to get back for Chanhassen. Bronson comes out now. He elects to send it to safety rather than go in shorthanded. Ohmshide hot on here, but Wolf's able to cancel out his stick, but then it's able to be held in by Magnuson. Lafell, Lafell, centering pass turned away by Wyant, and it's sent out. Barrett gets it for Chaska. Just two behind Ohmshide, that'll be nugged over by <laughs> Wyatt. It's an intercepted pass there. Puck's bouncing in the slot. Like Groff breaks it out of the zone to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, an awkward chip. Urbansis will steer it away. Bimberg now down in the corner. Barrett pokes it and turns away from a watching Lovig. Lovig now. Barrett. Scrum ensues. We're down under two minutes to play here in this third period. Not feeling like much a rivalry today with this blowout. They're blocked by Magison. Kooks is in there. He's held on to. No call. Groff will walk around him. Centering pass no good. It's batted away by Magison. Chess has got some numbers here. A little bit. Lavelle works one on one with Severson. A backhand turned the side, and a second attempt saved by Wyant. Severson gives it on the wall to Montang. That Starkey shot is blocked out front by Severson. Thomas in. Erickson held on to. He pokes it away from Montang. All right. Within the last minute here in this third period, it'll be a clean sleep for Chaska this year. As you look for one last final opportunity, Thomas, the summing pass goes past Sigurdsson. Both Chaska teams won in the earlier matchup against Chan Hassan, and both Chaska teams will skate to a victory here today against Chan Hassan. As we're going to have a penalty call against Sigurdsson. Not sure why we're going to have that call. But Sigerson will spend his final seconds of his hockey career in his home game, last home game ever, in the penalty box. No fitting send-off for him. I imagine that to be Fletcher next year. 
Montang with it now. The Chan has it on the power play. Why would you say that? <laughs> it's sent all the way down, and Lyons forced to come out and make the save. Lyon will play a wobbly, wobbly puck up to Whitcraft. As <laughs> Kulix tries to put a hit, and he does more damage to himself. Last 10 seconds here from the community center. Groff will skate on out up over the logo. Too far for Wolf. Wolf takes a hit. McDonald will throw it around in the corner. Final score here from the community center. Chaska 7, Chanhassen 2. Chanhassen had no chance from the beginning of this puck drop. Well, we hope to look in uh, after we get, go through the final scoring, and we hope to get Greg Erickson down ice side with some player interviews from uh, Chaska. Uh, but until then, we will uh, sign off from up here. Colin Jacobson, I'm Ryan Paul, Taylor Hanson is on the camera. Good job today, buddy. For the final time, from the Chaska Community Center, Colin Jacobson. Any final words, Colin? No, I'd just like to thank uh, Ryan and Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network for this opportunity to come in uh, broadcast some games when I wasn't playing. It's been a really fun opportunity. I've had a great time. Um, it's gone really well. Me and Taylor have done a great job. Ryan, when he steps in, he's been great. And look forward to see what Ryan you get to do next year. So thank you. Well thank, well, thank you for all your help. You've really helped us out. When I can't be here to do hockey, when Taylor can't do hockey, for whatever reason, you've been great and um, bright future ahead for you as well. When we come back from this quick commercial break, we'll hear from Greg Erickson with one of the Hawks players. We'll be right back on the Lens and Chevrolet View, Chaska Hawks broadcast network. The Hawks down the storm and sweep the season series 7-2 tonight from the Chaska Community Center. We'll be right back. Lens and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business, proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So Yeah. 